Loot from 1000 series next video is gonna be 1000 basilisks. Let's take a look. Best place to kill them is in Fremenic Slayer Dungeon. The Polinevich Slayer Dungeon is a good place to kill them too. Basilisks here have 9450 HP, so you're gonna kill them fast here. Level 40 Slayer is required to kill them. Recommended at least tier 70 weapon, so you're gonna kill them faster. All combat styles are used to kill them. As newly released skill Necromancy is very good for training here. That's what I use here for all 1000 kills. Drops from Basilisks are Warriors. 100% drop being Bones. Best price drop being Light Mystic Head. Other drops are Coins, Herbs, Warriors Salvages. All of the rest drops are worth picking up too. So the process is very simple. Grab your preferred combat gear and start killing basilisks. They have fast respawn time. There is a spot with 8 spawns in Fremenic Slayer Dungeon and 19 spawns scattered around the Polinevich Slayer Dungeon. So the choice where you want to kill them is for you to decide. Must have items are protection from special attack, vampire Zimora, Bone Crusher, Demon Horn Necklace, Agro Overloads for higher levels, High Alchemy Runes or Spring Cleaner, Hair Bag and Gem Bag. Having all mentioned items would make your time killing them easy and AFK. To protect from special attacks draining your stats, that can only be prevented by equipping a mirror shield, sunglasses, mask of reflection, helm of little kings, mask of stone or helm of petrification while fighting them. For HP, Vampire Zimora is more than enough to sustain it when using Necromancy for higher levels, as it provides more healing options. For lower levels, you might need additional items, like Excalibur. Some food are recommended too, for low levels, as they hit quite a lot. For prayer, having Bone Crusher combined with Demon Horn Necklace will turn your bones to prayer points. Agro overloads for them being aggressive on you, but it's only recommended for higher levels. As for lower levels, any combat boosting potion you have will help here a lot. For warrior salvage drops, Alch runes or spring cleaner for turning those precious metals into pure cash. Hair bag is highly recommended here too. They drop a lot of herbs unnoted, so having it would add a lot of value. Gem bag is nice to have too. They drop a lot of sapphires and emeralds. Once in a while they drop diamonds too. So grab your combat gear, fill your inventory with mentioned items and start killing basilisks and see how good it is. I should do the same. Basilisks are low level slayer monsters, but it definitely doesn't feel like one. You can start killing them at level 40 slayer, but you need at least level 70s in a combat skill to actually able to sustain the fights. Having a max hit of 1100 is not a joke. Like how a low player level is supposed to kill them safely when you can die from like 7 hits if you don't pay attention and more than one is attacking you. Having 99 defense and tier 70 armors I was consistently hit 700s and 900s all the time. The only reason I survived was soul split. But low levels don't have such high stats, so it's like so weird. I want to call it low level money maker, but I can't, as it requires high combat stats. And at the time you have those higher stats, you're gonna be higher combat level, and it's just pointless that way. Nonetheless, Basilisk offers a decent drop table for mid levels. Herbs are very good for Ironmans, they drop a lot of salvages, so. Alking them adds very nice chunk of money too, so I would highly recommend doing them if you get the task. But be prepared for a challenge. Necromancy is the best style for them, as it is for everything apparently, so enough of talking. It's time to test out, are they actually that terrible? Or maybe I'm just talking nonsense? Let's take a look. And just like that, only couple kills left to do and I'm gonna be done with 1000 basilisk kills. And we can finally see what loot I got in total. I wonder how much money I'm gonna make from these monsters, as it took me on average 900 kills per hour. That makes just a little bit more than 1 hour for 1000 kills. It's actually pretty fast when you are high level, but it's low level monster, so it's pretty bad so far. So the real question in here is, how much money did I make while I was killing them? 
it's time to go to the bank and check it out. So in total I got a lot of random loot, herbs, pure cash, salvages, so total worth of it before selling is almost 900,000 GP, that's quite bad. Spent around 300,000 GP on supplies, armor and repairs and other stuff. So the real profit from 1000 kills is around 600,000 GP, that's quite bad. After selling I managed to get to almost a million GP, so it improves a little bit, but still it's quite on the bad side of monsters. Let's talk some final numbers shall we? So for loot, biggest profit comes from warrior salvages, others adds up too. So after all expenses are covered, total profit from 1000 basilis is around 700,000 GP. It took me a little bit more than one hour to do so. For higher levels I would say it's around 700,000 GP per hour and around 430k combat experience, adding 140k HP experience too. As for lower levels, it's around 300,000 GP per hour and around 240k combat experience per hour, adding around 80k HP experience too. Doing them on task gear will add around 50k slayer experience. So overall it's very bad low level monster, but it's still worth doing as it drops decent herbs and money. I would recommend doing them on Iron Man, as for me, hmm, not really. And as always, if you're getting different results than me, feel free to comment below and we're gonna try to find out why. So thank you guys for watching, I'll see you next time, bye.